Hey, Mike Healy here, and I'm excited to give you an overview of Snap Delivered. Now, this is something that I believe is going to be the next major disruption in the food delivery industry, and it's going to affect a lot of people financially in a very good and positive way, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through some slides, I'm gonna do it fairly quickly, I'm gonna slow down in a couple that are most important uh, to what I think is gonna affect you and your decision, but you're gonna see that this is a legitimate, real opportunity for you to supplement your income, uh, both part-time type of income or even a larger income, depending on what you see uh, you wanna put forth your efforts. Now, there is no guarantees of income or anything like that, obviously, as I go through this, and there is no fee. This is something that is completely free uh, for restaurants, drivers, and customers to be a part of, as well as you yourself, if you choose to pursue this potentially as an opportunity, money make a way to, you know, for you to make some supplemental income. So let me just jump right into the slides here. So who Snap delivered for? In most cases, restaurants right now in the delivery uh, app space are being significantly overcharged, okay? We have the ability for free to drive that cost way down. I'm gonna show you a specific slide on that in a second. Also, food delivery drivers are looking for ways, obviously in the gig economy is what they call it, to supplement their incomes. And this is a great way for to, to do it. I mean, I've got two boys that both in high school were delivery drivers for food delivery service you're very familiar with and did very well. Uh, you know, on a part-time basis, they could pick the times they did it. Uh, and so that's how they kind of gotten enough money to go out there and do what they needed and take that girlfriend out for dates and so on. Uh, but we're, uh, with the ability what Snap delivered is uh, put together, it's going to put more money into the driver's pockets. Now, customers, obviously customers want to just save money. That's why we do this. And nonprofit organ organizations want to get to this towards the end with the nonprofit that you're going to obviously understand and see the simplicity of what we have to offer. And nonprofits can really, really uh, benefit with what our service offers, okay? And then last but not least, why I'm doing this presentation is more directed towards the person like yourself who's business-minded, basically somebody who wants to be an individual who supplements their income, okay, without maybe having to go get another job or change careers. So that's what I like about this, okay? Now, a little bit about our company. I'm going to breeze through this. Pre-launched in 2021, so we've got a good base going right now. Uh, already participating in the $107 billion restaurant delivery business. Um, they're projecting that the growth is going to be over 100% by 2025, okay? So we're positioned, as you're going to see, to disrupt this. Um, the founders and owners of our company, Paul Michael, Anthony Swantek, and Garrett Hagen, collectively have 100, you know, 100 years of experience of doing this. Um, they've built multi-billion dollar companies before. They've already been in this space and done it very, very successfully, okay? So, so it's not something that's just, you know, an idea that popped in their heads. These guys are doing it correctly um, and very aggressively. And hopefully I'll remember towards the end to really share with you the big vision here. Now, the restaurant industry, just briefly about this, I'm not going to have to hammer this home. You can read some of this, but the uh, second paragraph right there, the online food delivery industry is set to supersize to a hefty $200 billion by 2025 okay and the very bottom there it says digital ordering and delivery have grown 300 percent faster than dine-in traffic so there's been a paradigm shift of how people consume food obviously is what all of us experienced in the last couple years you can see that that more and more people were dining in their houses <laughs> versus having to go out to, to businesses and there's a better way to do it there's a better mousetrap than what a lot of these companies that you're familiar with these apps you may already have on your phone uh, or you know whatever device um, they're all doing basically the same thing but we believe with snap delivered that they have created a better mousetrap now here's where it the rubber meets the road and why we're different with most of these companies right here you're going to see that these familiar companies in most cases are charging at least a 30 percent fee on orders Okay, so as an average on a $40 order, that would be a $12 fee to the restaurant for getting that. So you talk about not, uh, taking out margins. Uh, that's that's the problem that's been going on. Okay, but there's no other real solution for that. They don't want to hire drivers. They want to do this. And, you know, the idea and the concept of food delivery is obviously there. But look at this math. Let's do some math real quick. So if you had uh, this fee being charged to the, the restaurant at 20 orders a day, they're paying $240 a day just to get their food out the door uh, on orders. That's $600, uh, 600 orders per month. That'd be $7,200 or $86,400 in fees to get their food delivered with all the traditional uh, familiar 
food delivery systems. With Snap Delivered, we crush that in the fact that we offer a $2 flat fee, regardless of the size of the order, for the delivery from the restaurant. That, if we did the same math, that would mean they would only have to pay 40 versus 240, 1200 versus 7200. And look at that savings. That would be an annual savings if you looked at this $72,000 that the restaurant is now putting back in their pocket versus paying it out in a, you know, and being overcharged on astronomical fees. Okay, so the paradigm shift is this. So the reason Snap Delivered is really, you know, kind of, I think, uh, changing the way this is done is the fact that we're not having to spend or they're not having to spend millions of dollars in traditional advertising. Obviously, they got to make up for that somewhere. And that usually comes out of the pockets of the customers, consumers, drivers, and, and obviously restaurants. Whereas our model, strictly through word of mouth, completely for free completely for free we're out there referring customers we're out there referring restaurants we're referring drivers and so that savings and that money can stay in-house in in the community okay so it's really uh you know it's instead of play, paying millions of dollars for radio print and television they give it to you and i for going out and they're referring it now this is awesome this page is one of my favorites i'm gonna show you two pages okay part, part one right here is if you decided to do this completely for free you could refer restaurants drivers and customers or all of the above let's say as an example you referred 10 restaurants and we're going to show you the exact commissions on this uh as well also let me do give you a disclaimer okay this is for illustration purposes only you can do your own math if you don't do anything you don't make any money there's no guarantees of income that kind of thing okay your results are going to vary but 10 restaurants times 20 average deliveries a day That'd be 200, if you had 10 restaurants doing 20 a day, that's 200 deliveries a day, and your commission would be 40 cents per delivery. That means that you would earn $80 a day off of just referring people to these restaurants for something that they're going to be saving money on. That'd mean $2,400 in supplemental residual, because more than likely it would happen month after month after month, and probably increase, but let's say just six to that. That's $2,400 in supplemental residual income just for your referrals. If you referred 20 drivers that were doing 20 deliveries, that's 400 deliveries a day times 20 cents off of each one of those deliveries. That's another $80 a day. That's another $2,400, okay? And if you referred customers, let's say eventually you got up to we're referring 100 people uh, through your app and you give it, you get a code that you just refer people to and it's tracked to you and it's all, all in the back office. You can see all your, driver, all your drivers, all your customers, all your restaurants. And that would be if you had 100 customers times two orders only a week. That's 200 orders a week and you make a buck per order. That's $200 a week. That's another $800. You combined all, if you did a 10 restaurants, 20 drivers and 100 customers, you'd be supplementing your income by a legitimate, real $5,600 a month. And now that's something that people can get excited about, okay? Now that's completely on the free model and you don't ever have to do anything besides that. And you can, there is no cap on how many restaurants, drivers or customers you get um, and so on. So. Uh, what the other thing, the last thing here on on as far as like what you could do if you wanted to, you can for two hundred ninety nine dollars become a uh, a what they call a manager, and you have the ability to refer other people like myself that would go out there and get customers, restaurants, and drivers. Okay, and if you do the math on this, let's say you only referred three, so you decided, yep, I'm going to upgrade to a manager for two ninety nine. I'm going to get three people who do exactly what I just did. Three who got 10 restaurants, you do the math on that, that would be $3,600 a month on that, just on the overrides of that. If you got three or, you know, other people that came in for free, did the exact same thing for free, 20 drivers times the math right here, times 10 cent commission, that's another 3,600 and the 100 customers and you get the idea that would be another supplemental income. And if you look at the totals, if you did it and taught three people to do it, you could do that again. These are on people. These three could be just the people that came in for free. They're not having to pay to do this. Okay. Nobody ever has to pay to be to refer people and the commission is still paid out. So it's really a significant opportunity there. And then obviously with the uh, fundraising you can kind of see that if you got a dollar an order or, you know, that kind of thing per customer, all these, uh, all these nonprofits that are looking to supplement their incomes, they can literally just give out their code for free, they get the code, they get the code for free, they give out the code for free. And as people ordered, you know, whether it was a restaurant customer or driver, um, these these entities, these businesses are front, you know, nonprofits can earn money on top of that. So literally getting started is simple. 
anybody can join our company, become a member for free, download the app, start saving, that kind of thing, become a customer, whatever. If eventually you decide to be a manager and upgrade the 299, uh, there's some obviously other perks I just showed you and you can do that, okay? Last thing, training and support. They've got some regular calls. We've got training videos out there. We've got uh, marketing material for you. Uh, we've got suggestions on how to do social media to get the word out on this to help you build a business. So here's what I'm going to do in kind of in closing is uh, wealth is created through money at work or lever or people at work. Okay. And one of the best ways to do this is to leverage your income, leverage yourself. Okay. And if you just took the time to refer a handful of customers, drivers, and restaurants, over a period of time that will accumulate and there's some significant potential there for you to sub potentially supplement your income okay again there's no guarantees on this but last thing and this is important is we're starting in the food delivery business snap snap delivered is starting in the food delivery business but they're eventually going to get into the uh, beverage delivery business uh probably you know maybe florist delivery business okay sky's the limit Sky's the limit on the potential because once the customer base again starts to get built out, we can then roll other services out there that we offer through the same app, through the same drivers, through the same customers, okay? So think big, okay? Think big. It's okay to do that. But anyhow, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you got enough out of this that you really are going to make a decision. Jump on board for free. Get back with the person who got you to watch this video. Uh, appreciate it. And we'll see you on the other side. Thanks.